Hello flower friends. We are in the garden house again today and I'm seeding up some petunias. I love wave petunias. They grow from seed easily. You get quite a bit of bang for the buck and they come in such an array of colors. And starting them from seed is pretty, pretty simple. So I have a recycled container here. I don't remember what came in this. I think it might have been uh, ground turkey. It's been cleaned and sanitized and holes poked in the bottom. Now, how I do that many times is with something hot, like a, a screwdriver or a knife that I just heat up and then it just goes right through the plastic. Very easy. Or you can use um, a utility knife, just poke holes in it. All of those work. But then I filled it with seeding mix and or potting soil. Um, I think this is seeding mix because somebody gave me a bunch of it. But if you want to um, see my experiment I did last year comparing soil, potting soil with seeding mix, go right ahead. I'll leave a, uh, a link in the description box. But it's pretty interesting my, how my experiment turned out. So I've got it with that, the, the mix in it, and I had placed it in this tray of water to absorb so it's good and moist because seeding mix, um, starter mix is so powdery many times. So get it good and moist. This is my petunias. Now petunias need light to germinate so you don't cover them. I'm making sure. Let me double check that. Pretty sure. Yes, press into soil. So many things that's the way it goes. So you press into soil. Now this one is called Tidal Wave Silver which is a real pretty light lilac with purple centers. And I'm going to just pick up a seed with my fingernail. Some people do it with a toothpick. And I'm going to space these apart. Now, finer seeds, I don't bother spacing. I just sprinkle them on top and then prick them out when they get big enough and plant them up into larger pots. So these are pelleted, so they... Um, are a little bit easier to see and pick up than non-pelleted seeds. Now, I, in the past, I've showed you um, my petunias that have come back volunteer. Those have been the wave petunias. They've come back in containers where I let them go to seed, um, etc. So it's very possible that they would come back for you too. Now, um, I just leave at the end of the season my potted petunias in their pots. They've gone to seed, they're in it. I've just set them outside or under the deck for storage for winter, the whole container. And then they've reseeded in that pot and then come spring, they start germinating in the pot, which is great. And then I just divide them out as I want to separate them because so many come up. So that's how I get those uh, free petunias every year. All right, I'm just going to, with my finger, gently press the seeds into the soil, the damp soil. And then I'm going to make myself a um, marker for this because I'm going to use this tray for a lot more. That wasn't very many seeds. Uh, let me see how many seeds are in there. Ten. So that's ten over here. So I've got more room. So I want to put up a divider. Let me get over here for... And I often use old, older um, markers that I have. And that's going to be a bit tall because I'm going to cover, well, I guess I could still cover it with plastic and work around the marker. But a lot of times I have smaller markers that I will use. Now, you notice this is not very deep. They don't need super deep because by the time they get a couple of sets of leaves, I'm going to put them, pot them up. Okay, so this one's a little bit smaller. I'll clean it off better when I get inside. But anyways, I'm just going to put on it what it is. Tidal Wave Silver. Tidal Wave Silver. And I'll put it right there. So then I'm going to continue on. And I'm probably going to do all petunias in here. So I have more petunias. Here is Casket Super Cascade. Let's see, I also have Capri Rose. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Orchid Mist. Now the Orchid Mist, I think I'll put there because it's probably similar in color and if I should get them a little mixed up, it won't matter. They will go well together. So let me see how many is in this one. This is 35. Come on out. 
And I got these from Swallowtail Garden Seeds. I buy a lot of seeds from them and from Botanical Interest, Renee's Garden Seeds I like. Select Seeds. Select Seeds, I just ordered a bunch. What I love about Select Seeds is they carry vintage varieties, not the super hybridized ones, vintage varieties. And you really want to add vintage flowers into your gardens because they're super uh, beneficial for insects because they haven't been super hybridized. The ones that are super hybridized, there's a theory, and I'm not sure how much research has been done on it, that the pollen from them is not as beneficial for the birds, the hummingbirds and bees as the vintage varieties and for the native pollinators. So just keep that in mind. I just ordered a bunch of um, sweet peas and I love their sweet peas because they aren't grown for the cutting market. They're grown for the seed, I mean for the scent. And that's really why I grow, uh, more, uh, not morning glories, sweet peas. Is for their scent. And anymore, a lot of places carry mostly the Spencer varieties, which are bred for long stems and bigger blooms. And you really don't get as much scent at all. I was really surprised by that. I thought I'd ordered all these really pretty colors. And... Um, Compared to my vintage ones, no scent. So I want the vintage ones. And they carried a bunch of them. And they have the history of them where they were 1920s, 1918, 1800s, whatever. I'm down, I'm just spreading these. I am such a lazy gardener that I just, I don't want to spend hours doing things. And it works for me. You know, some people are more precise and finicky about these things. Not me. Just get in there and do it. If you make it difficult by being too finicky, it takes all the fun out of it. So I've gardened this way for years and it works. It works just fine. Okay, let's see. I'm looking for another smaller marker and I'm going to put Oh, let's get over here where it's white. Double cascade orchid. And that's enough because I'm going to put the packet in my garden journal and I'll have it to refer to. Now what I'm going to do is I will cover this with, since I don't have a lid for this one, I will cover it with saran wrap or plastic wrap and that will keep the moisture in. And I'm going to put it in on my light rack in my office. That's where I have my plant. Oh, startled. That's where I have my plant rack and all these starter plants that need it warmer and the lights. So I'm going to go, go do that now and I'll share you, with you what it looks like. So this, my friends, let me see if I can keep my camera steady, is my plant rack with the lights for my seed starting. And right here are the petunias I started. Uh, this is February 4th, and I think I started these on the 11th, but I can let you know in the description box below if that's accurate or not. So, and just FYI, there are the geraniums I potted up in one of my videos not long ago. And there's the tomatoes I just grew from seed too. So that's my simple little growing rack with lights.